Good day there. In this video, I'll be trying to turn this plastic throat plate, with the tendency to melt, into something that's a little bit more durable. To do so, we'll use 6061 aluminum as our material. The melting point is significantly higher than that of plastic. The aluminum will be secured down to the bed of a router, and we'll use the router to cut the shape out. Once the Z-axis has been zeroed, we'll go ahead and home the machine before running. The tool paths will consist of a boring operation, a 2D contour to cut the middle, and one more 2D contour to cut the outside. All the speeds and feeds were 254 uh, millimeters a minute, and the depth of cut was roughly 0.2. Now, one thing I should have done was run the simulation ahead of time, and I would have realized that there was a sudden movement into the material. But more on that later. For now, we'll start the first operation and see what happens. Now, one thing I noticed is the heights are a little uneven on the piece of material. Now, that shouldn't be a big issue since we have a spoil board underneath. We can cut as deep as we need without damaging the bed. Now everything was seemingly going great, but remember how the simulation indicated there was a sudden movement into the stock? Yeah, that was a mistake. Now the good news is the e-stop button worked, and we didn't break the bit. So I'm just going to fix up the toolpath and carry on as if that didn't just happen. Now that the boring operation is done, we can take a quick peek, and then we'll move on to our first 2D contour in the middle.
and there was a little bit that was left over from the 2D contour in the middle, but that's nothing we can't clean up with a file. And then finally we'll move on to our last 2D contour operation and finish cutting the shape of it. Here's a quick look at the rough shape, and then we'll move on to post-processing. Now all that's left to do is to swap out the broken plate and insert our new one. I also ended up getting some matching stainless steel screws to add in. Now all I gotta do is give it a quick test, and if it doesn't melt, I'll call it a success. And there we have it. Compared to our plastic plate, this one didn't melt. And for anyone who's curious, I'll go ahead and add a link to the model in the description below. Thank you for watching.